Hello everyone, welcome back. This is Carson Cloud. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to create and restore system image backup in Windows 10. So image backup and restore, it's a little different from Windows Reset. Windows Reset or Resetting Windows, it's going to delete all the programs that you currently install on your computer and you have to reinstall applications again. So with image backup you can back up you can take a snapshot of your hard drive with all the application installed just say if you have office chrome you know 40,000 other applications installed with system backup you, it take it take an image of the whole computer hard drive at that time so now let's get started so to access system backup, you need to go into control panel, click on the search here and then type in control panel. And in control panel, look for file history and at the bottom left here, it's a system image backup, click on that. As you can see here, Windows Backup has not been set up, so I need to turn this on. So I have an E drive on my computer. If I want to back up the image from my C drive, it then it's going to save to my E drive. Or if you want to save it on a network, you can click on save on a network here and put in the path. If you save on a network and when you do a restore, you won't be able to restore if you have a Wi-Fi connection. You need to use a landline in order to restore your image. So I highly recommend it back up your data to a local hard drive. If you have a C drive or a D drive, you want to save it to the D drive. I only have nine gigs available. So it's just telling me here that I don't have enough um, drive space. I'm going to click next. There's other options here. Let me let Windows choose recommended or you can choose let me choose what to back up. With this one it select you can select folders whether to include a system image in the backup. So Microsoft recommended that we use let Windows choose. I'm going to click next. So review your backup settings. It's going to include system image and it's going to include all users, fo files and folders. Save the settings and run the backup. Click next. The backup has been started. As you can see here, backup in progress. So that's it. That's how you configure system backup to take a snapshot of your current your current in, um, image with all the applications installed, with all the Windows up, updates installed. Thank you for watching. And if you like the video, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and have a great day.